Hi, this is Stephanie Lotvin of Telly Bean Knits, and today I'm going to show you an alternative garter tab cast on called the Rolled Edge Garter Tab Cast On. Now, this is an optional alternative. This is not something that you have to use in the pattern. I'm just going to show you how you can use the Rolled Edge Garter Tab Cast On to create the smoothest possible transition between your cast on and the rolled edge that we'll be using in the flat portions of the Haunted House Mystery Knit Along. You are going to need four stitch markers for the setup row, which will happen um, after we finish our garter tab cast on. And I'll show you how to transition into that setup row. You're going to need your circular knitting needles that can achieve the gauge that you need for your cowl. And you're going to need color one. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to be using a worsted weight yarn so that you can see it a little more clearly, but you should be using color one in a fingering weight. So to begin, we're going to start just like you would with a normal garter tab cast on. We're going to make a slip knot and place that on our circular needle. And then we will cast on two stitches and a cast on of your choice. I like to use long tail cast on. So now you should have three stitches on your needles. You're going to make sure that you have your working yarn as the one connected to your ball and not your tail. And we're going to begin by knitting the first row. So row one, knit all. Now we're going to turn our work and we're going to bring the yarn to the front. Row two, we're going to slip the first stitch purl wise with yarn in front and bring the yarn between our needles to the back of our work. Now I'm going to work a yarn over and knit two. Turn our work. We're ready for row three. We're going to knit two. And when we come to the end of our row, we're going to knit those two stitches together. Turn your work. We're ready for it. Row four. We're, we want our yarn in front. We're going to slip the first stitch purlwise with yarn in front. Bring the yarn between our needles, work a yarn over, knit two, just like we did in row two. Turn our work. We're now ready for row five. We're going to start with our yarn in the back, going to knit two, knit two together. Turn our work, we're ready for row six. Bring our yarn to the front. Slip one with yarn in front. Bring the yarn to the back. Work a yarn over. Knit two. Turn your work. You're ready for row seven. With yarn in back. Knit two, knit two together, turn your work, row eight, we're going to bring yarn to the front, slip that stitch purlwise with yarn in front, bring yarn between your needles to the back of your work, yarn over, knit two, And now we have a garter tab. And you can see the beginning of our rolled edge here. We've got on our needles a slip stitch, a yarn over, and two knit stitches that we just worked. And we're not turning our work yet. We have our live yarn on the left side of our work and our right hand needle. We're going to rotate our garter tab 90 degrees clockwise. And we can see in that 
garter tab that the garter stitches have created little bumps. We're going to pick up three stitches along the top edge of the garter tab cast on. And the way that I like to do that is I just like to insert my needle into three of the bumps from those garter ridges, like so. I've picked up those three stitches and now I just need to knit them. One, two, three. Okay, now I have two, four, six, seven stitches on my needles. We're going to rotate one more time clockwise. And now we have the original cast on edge, the top of our work. That's where we did our slip knot and two long tail cast on stitches. And this next part can be a little tricky for picking up your stitches, um, but give yourself a little grace and don't get frustrated, you can do it. First thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna pick up one additional stitch from one of the garter ridge bumps and I'm just going to knit that stitch. And now I'm going to pick up one stitch from the center of this cast on. Just going to insert my needle and pull a stitch through. Now the last stitch is one that is actually pretty easy. Try to get that tail out of the way. If you pull on the corner of your garter, of your original cast on, you can see where there's an opening, a little loop opening right there. We're gonna insert our needle into that hole, that final hole. We're gonna pull that through and knit that stitch. So now if you look at your cast on, your rolled edge garter tab cast on, you can see we're starting to get the rolled edge along. This is going to be the upper edge of our cowl. We have two, four, six, eight, ten stitches on our needles for this cast on. And now we're ready for a wrong side row for the setup. It's going to be worked a little differently than it says in the pattern because you worked a rolled edge garter tab cast on. So let me explain how that wrong side row setup is going to work. So turn your work so that you're ready for a wrong side row. Get your tail out of the way. Now we are going to work the beginning in the same way that it says in the pattern. So we're going to, with yarn in front, slip one stitch purlwise. Bring the yarn to the back. We're going to yarn over. This is a continuation of our rolled edge. We're going to knit one, two. Now we're going to place a stitch marker. Pro one. Place another stitch marker. Pro one. Place another stitch marker. Purl one. Place another stitch marker. And then bring your yarn to the back. Now this is where it's going to be a little different than it says in the pattern stitch, or uh, in the pattern setup row. We're going to knit one, two, and you can see you have an extra stitch on your needles. That was that yarn over. We're going to knit those two stitches together. And so what you've done is you've started this beautiful rolled edge, but you've started it in the cast on. Let me turn the work so that you can see the right side of the work. You can see that rolled edge, it rolls around from front to back. It's just a very clean edge. And once you've worked this setup row, you can continue to work the rest of the pattern as it's written. Let me show you what that cast on is going to look like in pattern. So if you work a traditional garter tab cast on, you're going to have garter ridges along the top edge of your cowl. As I mentioned before, this is not 
a spoiler, this is not the haunted house mystery knit along cowl. So you'll have these garter ridges, but if you work the rolled edge garter tab cast on, you'll have a smooth transition from the rolled edge that's going to be worked throughout the flat portions of the mystery knit along and into that cast on. And now that you have completed the setup row of the rolled edge garter tab cast on, you can continue working clue one as written without making any changes. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching.